Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the series of securing your ASP.NET Core Web API with Blazor WebAssembly or let's say your cloud application with Azure Active Directory P2C or business to consumers. So in the previous session, we have set up all the things that we need. We have secured the client, we have secured the server, basic stuff. We have created, we have registered the application. So we have seen somehow a very general overview and a the general flow that you need right now we are going to do to go with the second steps this session is very short and very easy but it's covering a very important task which is forget password because you know by default this is the application that we have built if i click on login over here and then as you can see we will pre prompt up this page to be able to let the user to enter their credentials so what if they forget actually their password so what's going to happen they will click forget password and currently if you click forget password this is what you are going to see so how we are going to do this and allow the user to forget their password this is something very very simple and easy to do and it's just basically five seconds task so if i go right now to our active directory tenant So, okay, so this is our Active Directory tenant. If I click on Azure Active Directory P2C, and of course, you know, to switch to your tenant, if you are on another one, just click here, switch directory, and choose it from over here. And right now, here if you go to user flows, and then if we check this one, we have, this is the one that we have created in the last time, actually. So if I click on it, Okay, that's great. This is what you are going to see. Here are some set of customizations. Here are the user attributes and the claims. Identity providers, we are going to set this up in another session. But for now, what you have to do is to go to properties. And if we scroll down until the end, you will see the password configuration section. And this is what you need. So here you have very two important checkbox. Just check this one, check this one. So what this one is doing, it allows self-service password reset, which means there is no need to go to the user section over here and reset the password for that user and so on. You can directly do it just by allowing the user to reset their own password through the forget password link. And this forced password reset, like if the password is expired, then the user is forced to reset the password. Or for example, if you created this uh, this user for for th through the Azure tenant directly from the user section here, then they are forced to to change the password after the first use for example and here you can choose the complexity symbol custom and legacy whatever you want so and simply that's it so just the basically forget password is only the checkbox so just to check it and that's it so let's click save and wait a little bit oh that's great now let me go back to our application our solution what was the link? Okay, anyway, let's start the application again. And here we go. It's launching up. Click on login. And we are on this page. So I'm going to choose this one. And then let's. Oh, uh, I forgot my password. Then let's click on forget your password. And boom. This is what you're going to say. So look how, how easy was that. So now let me provide my email address. So send verification code. I should receive this code in just a few seconds. And come on. Okay, here we go. Let's wait for this email. Three, two, one, go. Oh, here it is. And then if I click on this one and I received it. So I will open it up just like this. And... 409339 and let's click for verify code this is it it's done now let's move to the last step which is setting the new password and i'm gonna set this cool password click continue and my password actually reset and here we go i'm logged in with a totally new password so that's it that, that was pretty pretty simple so this is everything for this session basically so in the next one we are going to move on with customization for the ui branding and logo and this stuff and then we will move to the other part which is identity providers and those stuff so i hope you liked it and if you do don't forget to hit the like subscribe button share with the friends 
So thank you so much for watching and see you.